trust in me. Hi, I'm not naked. <laughs> Anyways, to start off, I'm taking green face paint or body paint I got from Party City and then uh, a little bit of brown from my Makeup Forever Flash palette. And I'm starting with the green and I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender. This is, I'm just using it dry so it is gonna look a little splotchy but I think it gives more texture to the skin which is perfect for this snake look. So I first apply that all over my face and shoulders and neck and then I'm going to go in with the brown color and just kind of stipple that on top with a sponge. So again, it is gonna look really splotchy and kind of weird and gross but I think that just adds more texture and layers to the snake look which is perfect. Okay I know what you're thinking we look like moldy moss right now but we're gonna fix that I promise. So you can take fishnet stockings for this um, but I actually found that it was a lot easier to take one of these wrappers from a bag of apples or a bag of avocados anything like that. So I got this from my fruits you can find this in the produce section I think it's cheaper and you get some fruit when you buy it so it's a win-win <laughs> but um, I found that this was easier and I'll tell you later on why but I'm going to start off by just placing this over my head and covering my entire face and I'm just going to since we use cream makeup and it's like a little wet on our skin I'm just going to gently press the fabric or this material into my skin so it kind of stays put and then we'll get started with the eyeshadows so for this I'm taking this shimmery brown shade from my pure cosmetics love your selfie 2 palette and then I'm also going to be taking this gold shade from the uh, power of makeup palette from Too Faced Cosmetics and Nikki Tutorials. Those are the only two shadows I'm going to be using to create this whole look. So I'm starting with the brown one first and I'm going to just use my finger to apply that onto my skin. As far as the placement goes, I was pretty spontaneous with it, but I did have a picture of the snake from the Jungle Book, Ka. I had um, a picture up for reference and I noticed that the snake had some brown spots around the head and down where kind of like the nose would be and I just put it where I would contour to. So I kind of just placed it all over with my finger. Uh, you could definitely use a brush but again I like the way it applied better with my finger. So I just did that. Oh and then I also decided to put some under my eyes and bring it down into kind of like an upside down triangle shape. I noticed by watching a lot of other snake tutorials that a lot of people were doing this and it it really did help complete the look, but everyone was using black and when I tried using a black eyeshadow to do that upside down triangle under my eye, I just did not like how it turned out. So I just used it with the brown shadow and I thought it turned out pretty nicely. And then now I'm going to take the gold eyeshadow and basically you want to put this everywhere you didn't put the brown eyeshadow. Essentially we want our whole face to have this kind of snake pattern texture. So that's why you, you want to apply eyeshadow over the entire surface of your face with this kind of material on. And then once you pull it off, be careful when you do by the way, you have this pattern on your face that kind of resembles snake skin. So now I'm just cutting the bag so that it is no longer a circle and it's just this long piece of material and that way we can cover more surface of our body a lot quicker. And so this is why I think it's so much easier to work with this kind of material rather than using the fishnet especially if you're doing this look alone because if you use like fishnet stockings pantyhose or whatever you need someone to actually stretch out the material for you so you can get that um, that design you know on your skin and if you're doing this by yourself you just you, it's impossible it is impossible and I tried so with this you can just lay it against your skin and you don't need anybody to hold it for you or anything like that and you can just do the same eyeshadow method with the brown and gold eyeshadows and get that same scaly look and you can do this over your entire body whatever skin is going to be showing if you are going to wear this for Halloween or a party um, for me I was wearing a green strapless dress that it was a maxi dress so it covered my legs so the only skin that was showing was my arms and my shoulders so if I were to wear this look out I would cover my entire arms and shoulders and then maybe have someone help me get my back that was exposed and that way I'm like all the skin that's showing is completely covered in this snake scaly effect if you get what I mean you know what I mean and then I noticed there were some parts of my face that 
didn't have any scales so it just kind of looked empty so I took the brown eyeshadow and just used that to cover up those spots you don't necessarily have to do that but I was a little nitpicky with this look so that is what I did now it's time to line the eyes and I'm using the NYX matte liquid liner and as you can see right now I'm trying to create a thin line and then wing it out but you'll see later on that yeah, I don't need to be this careful because I'm going to turn it into a super big fat wing anyways so we're just going to line our eyes and then that's pretty that's pretty simple that's the easy part so once I'm done lining my eyes and creating my wing I'll tell you guys what the next step is now this step may not be difficult for everyone but if you've ever looked closely at my eye shape you'll understand why this is very tricky for me to do but we are basically creating an upside down wing on the front of our eye so that our eyes are extended and look more close together more inward no that's not what I'm trying to say what am I trying to say I don't know we're just making these little wings in the front of our eyes like this and then we're gonna fill it in with white so it kind of looks like our eye is extended yeah that's what I said right that makes sense it's gonna look like our eye is extended that's what I was trying to say Wow Jackie you suck today I know a lot of you guys on snapchat think I'm too hard on myself and I'm just kidding I don't suck today. <laughs> so for my lips, I am just using the brown eyeshadow to cover up my natural lip color and then I'm going to move on to the next eye and do the exact same thing. So I'm just going to quickly brush through this. Now for the details of the lips and creating the teeth, I'm first going to use a black eyeshadow and just brush this along the inner part of my mouth and then kind of extend it outwards like this. And now I'm taking my liquid liner and I'm just going to create two little upside down triangles on the edge of my mouth like this. And that is going to be our little snake teeth. Snake have teeth, right? I've never actually seen their teeth. They, yeah, they have teeth. What am I talking about? I don't know why it looks more like a vampire on me, but we're just going to roll with it and make it work. So I filled it in with white and then I used the eyeliner again just to sharpen up the lines so that the teeth look more defined and that the white wasn't so messy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to clean that up and that basically wraps it up for this makeup look. You can throw on some creepy snake contacts. These are from PinkyParadise.com. I love their contacts, but these, I'm not going to lie, these were a little uncomfortable on my eyeballs. So um, yeah, and I just added a gold choker necklace and that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that this was a look I was struggling with for like the past week. I want to say so it was a bit of a challenge but thank you to those of you who still wanted to see it and you liked it and you stayed till the end of this video you guys are amazing and mean the world to me and I really really appreciate you so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye